coconut man, coconut man, gaga new dude. <laughs> <laughs> Gagano, dude. I just want to do like a, a brief tour. And nobody has seen it yet. What was that? You dead? Hold on. I don't know what she's saying or who she's talking to. I hope she's just not saying, help. <laughs> help. Help me. Is she all the way up? Yeah. She ran out of the stairs. Love bug. Okay. You okay? This is our writer's retreat. So this is where we sat last night. Um, Allie, Amber, Rosie, myself, Rosie. And this is where we did our peer edits. So we hung out in here, read each other's work, did our peer edits. Um, this is officially day, full day one of our writer's retreat. Um, it is the strangest house. There's a boulder surrounded by antlers that was right over my head, which felt safe. Uh, there's the loft up in there. Our room is up over that way. I'll take you up the stairs in a second. We're here hanging out um, in a tree house in Dallas. And the edits last night were fantastic. I think we were up until one o'clock, um, just passing everybody's work around, reading everybody's work, making notes, uh, discussing the stories, discussing characters, and uh, what we wanted to see, what we kind of thought about one another's writing, etc. It's the first time that we've been able to sit down and really do that with one another. And then today we can sit down, implement some edits, move forward with scenes with kind of those notes and thoughts in mind. Really excited about that. This is this is our writer's retreat. I don't know. Hold on, you have to see this. No, nope, light switch. Okay, so here is the downstairs bathroom. It's very nice. No problem with this, right? Right, right. Mirrors everywhere, mirrors everywhere. Here's Mona Lisa and like no door except Mona Lisa opens. Closet closes and there's a door. And then Mona Lisa goes back away. Whoever built this house has a thing for hooks. Like they're absolutely everywhere. Everywhere. More. Don't die. <laughs> I, I, I want the, I want that, and I want my banana. Ban banana, banana, banana. Uh, stop getting up for shit. <laughs> she's got, she's got to get her exercise. I do. So she's doing it as, right. as much as she it can. makes me feel like you're gonna hurt yourself. I probably will. Well, <laughs> that's not gonna help me. That's not. Like, I'm not gonna feel any better about this. Banana. Oh, oh, thank oh, you. Banana. That is a phallically <laughs> shaped banana. Like, <laughs> I mean, literally everything is bigger in Texas, am I right? Oh my god. Um, um, if anybody goes behind here, be careful with the wire just because if yeah. this comes out, my whole computer shuts down. Oh! Uh, mine too, yeah. What a joy. That's fantastic. With the scenes I'm working on this morning, I'm kind of taking from my first round and putting it out over and changing it, and I need a bigger screen for it. What's everybody working on today, this morning? <laughs> Let it be a good guy. <laughs> Five chapters that I have to write from scratch, and okay. then the rest of it is just typing, and then I am done with this story that I've been working on since 2013. I'm just going to deflate. <laughs> <sighs> the good Wait. news is you have so much else to write in this world that you don't have to like mourn it for too long. Oh, no, no, no. Do you and know what then, I mean? And I don't even know, because I have, like, that before, like, later on when we decide to take a break or something, like, I have two stories <clears throat> that I want to jump into, um, 
that have nothing to do with this that I kind of want to like see Workshop. what y'all think yeah. and see what which one y'all think I should write. All right, yeah, for sure. I mean, we're gonna, so, we're gonna take breaks. We're not monsters. I am a legitimate monster, but I'm not gonna do that to everybody. She's a writing monster. <clears throat> I almost said literatica, but that's an actual thing. <laughs> I should have y'all ever heard whenever like someone's annoying you or like they're they can't hear you very well and you're like, Okay, Bessie. No. Her grandmother's name is actually Bessie. Aww. And she kept saying, Bessie, and I'm like, <laughs> and then I I saw a plaque and I was like, oh, her name is actually Bessie. I think maybe it's a Texas thing. Yeah. Like growing up in like East Texas, you're like, okay, Bessie. Or you call somebody heifer. <laughs> heifer. 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 Like a cow? Yeah. yeah. You've never called somebody an old heifer? Well, not to their face. Okay. <laughs> not to their face. No. <laughs> you no, are not. Well, let's do it. I'm not the one stopping. You're involved in all this, too. Well, actually, you got up to go to the bathroom, so I got up. I can pee and you can continue working. I'm Your work is not it. relying on my bladder. It is. That's. A, I'm sorry, because <laughs> we're going to stop a lot. <laughs> That tea went right through me. <laughs> you both started dancing. <laughs> and I was like... Yeah. Do we need to make out? <laughs> I'm checking the projection of, of movement because five, six one will be more accurate. So I would have to be a couple inches shorter. How tall are you now? Probably about six one. <laughs> I love you guys so much. <laughs> Face to boob. <laughs> right here. Yeah. I mean, probably a little bit. Just it's a little, maybe more like, like a this. Well, okay. Okay. That's perfect. Thank so, you. Do it for the YouTubes. <laughs> Even though all of us have a channel, she's the only one actually videotaping for their channel. I just need content, dude. <laughs> I know. You're Satan. You know that? What happened? I said I have to sneeze and she said bless you. Oh. And it's gone. Yep. It'll do that. I'm a slither puff. I'm a slither door. She's just raven puff. Mm -hmm. I'm a raven puff. You're a raven puff. Raven puff. I'm straight raven claw. I always say that I'm straight slytherin, but m one of my friends completely disagree. She's like, you've got Gryffindor tendencies. I'm like, I really don't. Like, I'm really, uh, I really don't. <laughs> mm -mm. I am nothing like them. Yeah, basically, exactly. See? Like, I've known Julie a long time and she's a straight Ravenclaw. Yeah. I'm very loyal. I think I, there's parts Close of me that are like, like Ravendor, but you're totally Ravenclaw. I'm Ravenclaw. I think that every house has its, like, loyalty, mm -hmm. you know? But, like, Slytherins are loyal to each other. Hufflepuffs are just loyal to anybody that loves them. <laughs> yeah. I feel like my drive and ambition is very Slytherin. But that's pretty much... I mean, I don't have any of, like, the other... <laughs> What's it called if you are a, an even mix of each house? What is Divergent. <laughs> I thought that was going everywhere. I really thought that was going everywhere. No. That was quick. That was good. That was really good. <laughs> 
version. <laughs> yep. <laughs> We're doing a great job Seven with minutes. first fruit. <laughs> hey, I've almost finished this chapter. Good. Yeah. Thank you. Good job. Good for you. I mean, I've written um, 500 words, so I'm like, I'm not upset. Hi! Oh my god. Books and I cannot lie. Look here, what's it now? I can't tell what book it is. Hold on, I'm gonna come up. It's plus one. Tell plus one. Oh, okay. Do you think she's wearing? Oh! Baby, I want to get with you. Wait, his top cover will be fine. It might work. Shake it, shake it, shake it. Shake that healthy butt. Baby, got that. Huh? Yeah, that's the ledge I was talking about. Uh, and big. Uh, here's my scandal. Makes a lot of trouble. Thank you for a piece of that bubble. I keep my women like blowjo. I wanted to fix those sisters. I want to get with ya. I won't cuss or hit ya. But I gotta be straight when I say I wanna uh. Only if she five three. This is one of our writing breaks, guys. You gotta dance it out. And they've got surround sound music in this place. But I don't think she would say this is wet with <laughs> such disdain. Oh, it's moist. Oh god. The juices are very no. Oh, oh, the juices. Oh god, it is wet. <laughs> oh, it's so cold. It's so cold. Oh. Oh, I see it. No, but I'm having issues. Like instead of trying to do the edge, take the middle and pinch I'm it. Pinch the middle like a paper, like a plastic bag at the grocery store. Oh, you mean the middle? Like like the middle, middle. Like the edge. Uh, oh, the middle. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that middle. It looks like I'm making goddamn dumplings on my eyeballs. <laughs> oh, it feels really good though. It feels so nice. Because I get right? so puffy and like bruises under my eyes. Yeah, it feels nice. Stop! Yeah. No, leave it on for a second. She wet me all oh, over. Rub it in. I can't see, but this looks like I have highlighter on. <laughs> How long do we leave these on? They feel really good. It's like 20 minutes or so. Until they, so basically right. the whole writing sprint, probably. So just when they, after they dry, you can take them off. Yeah. It, it does feel great, but it's made me cold. Nice. Oh, I'm a drink it, that bitch. <laughs> I'm like, get pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> now you see why I was trying not to laugh. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's <laughs> <So> like this. <laughs> what are you? <laughs> Why are you pulling it? I didn't even face? swallow. I was trying to keep my cheeks from going up. Oh. oh my. What is the problem? <laughs> Ladies, they're I'm... laughing because they know they shouldn't be laughing because they're going to fuck up their eye mask. Look at Amber's eye mask. Like, it's not even on your face. <laughs> it looks like it's trying to fly away. <laughs> Alright, let's do 
those ladies. I believe in you. What's that, yes? Go! <laughs> What do you think would be a good type of vehicle for Diego to have? Moped. Could you see him in like a small truck or? Yeah. Because then he could put the moped in the back of the truck? Yeah, yeah. He doesn't have probably that far he really needs to drive or that much he needs to do. Fiat. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Appreciate the feedback. <laughs> Hi guys, we are taking a quick break from um, writing to take pictures. Um, this place is like, it's kind of crazy. It's a little bit, who knows what this is. There's just mirrors everywhere. Everywhere, I tell you. Um, but this is the place. This is... I don't even know. Um, it's a look. It's a look, this place. So essentially, um, we've been writing. We've been doing a lot of writing and I haven't been doing a lot of check-ins just because we've been really busy just spending time together and enjoying company with one another. But it's been really fucking awesome. I'm having the best time. We're being really productive. We're getting a lot done. Stories are changing. Characters are changing. Progress is being made. And all around, it's just been kind of great. I don't want to forget this book out here. Um, so we're still here for the rest of the day today. It's probably around 4 o'clock. We check out tomorrow at 11. And then I think we're going to go out to lunch. Um, we've just been kind of eating here. We brought some food that we've been making. So last night, drinks were had. Lots of drinks were had. And uh, Cards Against Humanity was played. And Julie did not feel great for the majority of the morning. But I'm starting to feel a lot better now. So we are... Um, like I said, we've been really good about taking breaks, doing dance breaks, and keeping ourselves up and moving, and that's been kind of fantastic. I'm gonna go back in. Oh, okay. Uh, take a couple more photos with books to share with you guys, and then I will check in again probably when we get back to Amber's, because it's just been a little bit busy, um, and I wanna be able to spend as much time with everybody as I can, but I'll show you one of my other photos that I'm taking. Ooh, Insider Edition. Get no love from me. Here's another one of my pictures that I took. That I set up. Isn't she pretty right there? Anyway, um, so that's everything. And I'll touch base with you guys soon. Alright, bye. Here's the outside of the house. Looking in, there's the home, and then here's a pond. I'm trying to figure out how I can take pictures of this somewhere around here, which is just mosquitoes. Um, and then I want to go back in there because it's really fucking hot out. Back across Lay Rickety Bridge and into the home. I go. Hi! <laughs> did you just let out a breath you didn't know you were holding? I did. I hate it, I hate it. All fun and games right now, Rosie. Go ahead. Go ahead, do it. You know what? I'm not gonna make a sound. Uh huh. That's what you think. I won't. I will. I will. I'm just fixing it. You, buddy. We're coming. Uh, the, the, the nose and the mouth part's wrong. <laughs> they don't fit right. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what happened to the sounds? 
God. No, lean back and let it happen. Lean back and let it happen. I'm not going to make a sound. You guys are pussies and I'm not going to make a sound. Says this young bat woman symbolizes a happy future, sharing, and accomplished goals. It's about gain, accomplishment, stability, dexterity, and newly acquired knowledge. Ooh. All right. Newly acquired knowledge for the next sprint. Bring it on. <laughs> You've never felt anything in here, right? Huh? No. What? You've never felt anything in here, right? No. Okay. Why? Because I just saw a shadow come from the bathroom and then across that room. Like, from in there, across. Did the AC pop on? Maybe it was the... No. It's been on. 
I kept seeing something and I thought it was the um, hats because previously. No, I just saw like a... It's out of the corner of my eye. I'm working, but like... I had to like look up and make sure that somebody hadn't gotten up and gone to the bathroom and I missed it. But I've never felt anything in here either. Okay, well I'll never go pee again. Thanks. <laughs> but I've never felt anything no, I in here. Not I haven't either. felt anything in here. Have you? No. It could have even been maybe somebody outside with their headlights or something. I don't know. It might have been. Did you stretch or do anything? I'm wondering if it was like your reflection in the picture. Because I can see you in the picture. Yeah, I didn't stretch. <laughs> okay. We've never felt anything. There was nothing bad going on. Hi guys, it is Julie and I am clearly back in my house, which means I am no longer in Texas and no longer at the treehouse, which means I forgot to do another update about our writing and the rest of our week at the treehouse. The first night, Monday night, peer edits, which I think I talked about before, and they were amazing and really, really great to break the ice and just kind of dive into the week of writing because it gave us insight on how one another writes, and what kind of feedback we might be needing during the week. And then we started working. Tuesday was a full work day. We wrote, we had multiple different writing sprints. Everybody was incredibly productive. We were able to stop and take dance breaks and we were able to stop and get feedback immediately on where we were going with our story to make sure that we were on the right path. And then Tuesday night, Allie left, which means that Wednesday, it was just Amber, Rosie, and myself. We didn't get started till like around one o'clock, mainly because I was very hungover. Once we did, we did have a really good day. I ended up changing a lot of my story so that what I had outlined had changed and I had to start like kind of flying off the cuff, like doing a lot of pantsing, which I don't do very easily or very well. So that was a little bit difficult for me. And then Thursday morning was our last morning there. We had to check out by 11. But we all set alarms to get up early and we did a writing sprint. One last writing sprint there before we left. We left on Thursday from that house. I flew home Saturday, got home Saturday night. Sunday, Monday, I have not done any writing. So what I got done, where I am, is just where I am. Finished my NaNoWriMo. I was successfully finished NaNoWriMo. And then I went to update to like the newest version of Scrivener, but I can't find my license number for my older version to update for free. So I'm in like this whole conundrum where like part of my story is in an old version, parts in a new version. I'm stressed out about it. I think I just have to go buy the new version at this point because their help desk is not being particularly helpful when it comes to helping me find the license. It's a whole process. Anyway, uh, what I'm getting at is tonight I will also not be working on the story, which feels strange, but that's news for a different vlog, um, a different writing vlog. But I just wanted to close this one out and say that the trip to Texas, while I didn't write every single day like I'm used to and I'm kind of in a funk now afterwards, was really productive. I think it was more productive for the other girls. I think it was really nice to see Allie finally joining in some sprints and really realizing the benefit to having immediate feedback and that kind of an environment. Rosie has been on a roll since then. She's been writing every single day, even if it's only like 15, 1600 words. She's crushing it. Amber, I think, has slumped the same way that I have, but tonight we will get back on a Google Hangout. We will do writing. Um, I will just not be working on the story. I'm going to be working on something different, which I will talk about in a different vlog. But I wanted to close this one out because it was an amazing trip to Texas. I have footage from in the house. I have some pictures from in the house. I will have some bookstagram pictures on Instagram that are from the house. So that has been that particular writing vlog. I hope you've enjoyed it. It was the most unique and crazy house, but so cool and so conducive to like creativity. So I really appreciate my time there and the girls for hosting me, Amber for hosting me for the week. Um, and then the other girls for making time in their schedules and off of work to come and stay at the house and to write. So all in all, a fantastic experience. So glad that I made the time to go. And that's gonna close out this vlog. If you liked it, if you enjoyed it, uh, let me know the craziest place you've ever stayed and what was like really quirky about it because this house had some serious quirks. That's gonna be it for this one. If you liked it, be sure to give me a big thumbs up, click subscribe, and I'll see all of you in the next one. Bye guys. Thank you.